Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Angry Cast and Fallout Shelter 2022. Let's go take a look out in the wasteland. We got a quest to do. I uh, found this one, uh, you know, guy searching out in the wasteland. We found another one of those one offs. A hop on the Roach Coach. So we're looking for loot in the Super Duper Mart. Uh, okay, Grace, get in there and let's do it. I think it's going to be Roaches. I think it's going to be Roaches. Uh, yeah. I love these little one-offs, one though. Like, they're very small, concealed quests. Uh, the only problem is, is that because I don't have a vast amount of stim packs to send people out with just to level up to level 50, uh, they only get, like, 10, and they have to go through that, and then continue on. And as you can see, Grace is only level 30, and our quest, or our, our mission is to get her up to level 50, which means that she has to survive a lot longer in the wasteland. And she may not be able to do it unless we pick up some extra stim packs in this side quest, which is always possible, especially the ones with the uh, the ghouls that we've seen over the past. The other drawback is is that whatever she finds, she's got to take on all by herself. So you want to make sure that when you're out there with somebody doing these types of things and you pick up those quests, that you might want to be sure that they're able to handle themselves because they're not going to have any help from anybody but the stim packs and uh, you. Uh, you know, in a sense. And again, you can always focus on the the alpha or uh, glowing red roach or whatever it is that's that's you're fighting to make sure you take care of them first, and then go to your other ones and just keep giving yourself some stim packs and and, and time them so you get the best uh, bang for your buck on those. Yeah. So, oh, more roaches, more roaches. Roaches aren't really a problem for most people in the vault. Yet, they are a problem for people out on quests. Actually, no, they're, they're, they're a problem for people in the vault as well, depending on their level, um, the attacks that we've been getting. And I gotta, we, we got to talk about that uh, once we get back into the vault, because I did get afflicted with the time glitch and had to fix it. And we'll show you what I'm talking about uh, in a little bit. So, okay, let's get, uh, yeah, Shibuya Row Call, let's get over there. Oh, it's just it's a costume. Yeah, I just happen to look like a mass murderer. <laughs> Aw, rats. Uh, we got some cool footage. Maybe you can show it to us in the vault. How about that? <laughs> we have movie nights. We're going to show uh, DEFCON 5. We're going to show the day after. All that stuff. There you go. Okay, Grace, we got to pick up some more stim packs. We're back to 12. And we also got some uh, new call quantums. That'll be nice. So we finished off that little quest, and we're going to head out back into the wasteland. And yes, we got West England. Oh, West Craven and Robert England. You get it? Haha. -ha. Uh oh. Speaking of, uh, speaking of somebody at the door. Okay. So this is now uh, a fixed vault. Um, before, whoops, Mr. Henny died. Before we were only getting death claws. We weren't getting anything else. And you'll see when we get a chance to look at our people out there that are been out for a while and because we were doing that time glitch to sort of you know test things out and show you how to fix it we ran into a little snag that it actually got us but uh, first let's go to uh, you know we're, we're doing another side quest here search for Jack Racky Jobinson's baseball jersey uh, I wanted to get this quest out of the way because it does come with a um, an outfit at the end of it, although it's 15 parts, and I'm not going to do them all on camera. I think I'm going to do maybe a couple of them. I'll have to do the rest of them on my own. I might send some people out who are not level 50 just to see if I can get them leveled up doing this. Um, the The problem with this is that this is the, one of the original out-of-the-box quests that you get when you add in the Overseer's Office, and the biggest problem with it is, one, it's 15 parts, and two, it's a lot of this repetitive go into a location, don't find anything, continue on, don't find anything, go back. Go to the next location, rinse, repeat. It's... And, and, and they, they tag you like at certain points where you, it zooms back in and tells you something, especially like the, uh, oh, we didn't find anything. We don't, we don't know what's happening. We don't, we, you know, nothing, this, we found something on the floor. Is that it? No, crap, that's not it. Um, and you'll see some of the, uh, the dialogue options that come up when we are moving through the vault, or I'm sorry, through this location where it will actually sit there and, and trigger us to say, you know, we didn't find anything. Yep, not, not here. Well, we'll have to keep looking. That kind of thing. And that happens throughout the entire building. You'll have several different points where it'll stop and give you that dialogue. And it's been happening on a couple of the different quests that you will see. 
Uh, so let's let's while we're waiting for this to go on, nothing big's going to happen here. I think we get a lunchbox out of one. We get a good gun on another one. They're they're good quests to pick up extra material and extra caps and extra uh, weapons and outfits that you may or may not need, but you can scrap them for the the uh, junk that you can use to make the better ones. Uh, that's my biggest. That's one of the reasons why I'm sending everybody out here is to get more junk. I need more legendary, or not legendary junk, but I need more microscopes to start making more vengeance. Uh, weapons because I'm they need the microscope and only have like one out of five I think so the more microscopes I can get and I don't know exactly which ones I have to scrap to get the microscope microscope but I figure if anything else it just gets us more stuff no matter what but let's let's give a little prelude to what's happening here so of course what we're doing we're in phase three we're sending peeps out to get leveled up to level 50 uh, they're already gone through all their training so they got 10 on all their perks on less specials. Uh, we are bringing in new dwellers via the radio room and pushing them through because now we have everybody already trained in the other rooms and I want to have to continue to get the the caps and rewards for doing that. So I'm okay with pushing uh, non-leveled up peeps through the training now whereas before I was waiting till they were like level 20 and then pushing them through and then bringing the new people and putting them in to the um, to the vault. Uh, that's not per se anything else that, you know, you you don't have to do it that way. You can do whatever way you want, but that's just the way we're doing it. Now, as we continue to go through that method, we're going to keep bringing more people in. Unfortunately, though, the time it takes everybody to get trained up in that first room, the strength room, they are <laughs> still there when more people show up. So we are kind of stuck in that sense that we have to, like, uh, you know, temper our, our our ability to let people in or we start funneling them into the other the other direction and have them go backwards i don't really like to do that i like to keep people going into a straight line through all you know S P E C I A L, and then bring them up versus but sometimes i can't because i accidentally click on uh the the icon and accidentally bring somebody in by accident and i don't want them standing outside for very long so we're doing that now while that happens, we're sending people out on quests to, or on, out into the wasteland to gather up stuff and level up to level 50 so that they can become our front line for going out and doing the rest of the quests. But like I said, I might change that a little bit just to get some people fast-tracked into being um, leveled up so that they can, you know, get get the experience out there and... and contribute to the vault and then, you know, come back in and go right into their next phase, the next part of their... Uh, their training or their leveling up or however you want to call it. Um, we do have a bunch of these uh, <laughs> critical hits to get for, I think it's a lunchbox or one's a lunchbox, one's I think uh, some nuclear quantums. There is a lot going on there. We've, we've got a lot of things happening uh, out there. I had the same objectives now for a while because of uh, there, you know, there's so many of them. But I do want to give you the, um, you know, the preface to what happened. So a while ago, a couple of episodes ago, we attempted to show you what happens if you do the time glitch where you advance the clock to, um, uh, you know, while you have the game open on your computer, advance the clock and it causes the game to shift and then you end up causing problems inside your vault. Uh, you can't collect any resources. People don't, you know, do anything there. And you have um, an issue where you only get, like, death claws showing up. Nobody else. And the only way to fix it is to going, taking your game and, and setting the clock back seven days and letting it just naturally catch up. Now, that causes another problem because the game, again, it runs off of the, the, the clock on your PC. Um, if By fixing it, you send <laughs> you send your peeps out in the wasteland, um, possibly could cause them problems, <laughs> and which I had. So, it'll, you know, I had sent some folks out to the wasteland uh, that w we were experiencing, and I noticed that they weren't picking up anything. They had been out there for like three, for two or three days, and they only picked up one or two items, even though they had been out there, and they were still at level 30. And I couldn't understand, like, what's going on here? They're still at level 30. It's been a few days. They should either have been killed, or they should have had a, a lot more stuff picked up, and that's when I realized the glitch was in effect. I had been affected by it, now I have to fix it. So I went and fixed it, and by doing that, I'd said everybody, now they had nine days to be, <laughs> they were be 
<laughs> would it be coming back into the vault? They were that far out. Because <laughs> they had been traveling that long. <laughs> so, anyways, see how everybody here has all their stuff that they've collected? That was on, you know, that should, I should have seen that on everybody who was out traveling. As you can see, he's got 18 hours to go and he's got three items that he's picked up. That's part of the glitch. But we fix it all. And it seems to be better now because, but like I said, it's taking people. Ooh, what happened here? I'm sorry. There was a rad scorpion attack. I better revive him. That'll make the other guy feel better. Yep, he's happier now. <laughs> I can I can heal y'all now. Uh, yeah. So that tells me another thing that that's been fixed. I, I'm getting more um, diverse uh, people. Or, I'm sorry, attacks coming out in, in, in the, from the wasteland. We had, like I said, we have death claws as well as feral ghouls, but. Uh, a couple people I have sent out to the wasteland will have picked up much more stuff than just those three items that that gentleman picked up, and therefore we now know the glitch is fixed. So yes, yeah, sending the clock, setting your game clock while the game is open, setting your PC clock uh, back nine days, and then letting them just come on in seems to have fixed the issue. Uh, I'm not too concerned that anything else bad happen. Um, I will, uh, you know, bring everybody back in with... I think I'm going to just bring them back in with um, Nuka-Cola Quantums just because I want to get them back in. And we've got some, uh, some... A lot of people going through training right now, so we're kind of at a standstill on that, that idea. Um, it's going to be a tough time for me to... <sighs> keep recording. Now, I do have a couple of days a week where Megan is at PT, which means I'm home and I can uh, record during the time, but at that, you know, that's my lunch, that's my lunch hour, and hopefully nothing bad happens at work that I can't uh, continue to, you know, do this versus being at work. Um, I, you know, working from home remotely has been fun, but sometimes it's a struggle to balance between focusing on that and focusing on everybody else at the same time. If I was just stuck at work, I would just be focused right, you know, on work, and there's nothing else I could do. But whether it be a distraction or other outside, you know, interruption, sometimes I don't get uh, <laughs> I don't get much done even when I am at home. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that we will continue to uh, be able to rec keep our recording pace. Like I said, we're almost kind of done. Um, I right now have 999,999 caps. There's no big, huge uh, efforts going to be happening. I did unlock the water purification room because I have, I think, 80 dwellers. I have 85 now. We are nine or five dwellers away from unlocking legendary outfits, and then we are then um, 10 dwellers to like 100 when we unlock the uh, Nuka-Cola bottling plant. And that is a wonderful thing because you can reduce the amount of rooms you need for... Um, both water and food because they provide you both. So if you take, let's say you have three water rooms and three food rooms, you can replace that with six Nuka-Cola bottling plants and you can get the same amount of, I think, the same amount of resources. Now, the only difference there is uh, you go from having um, your dwellers wearing an agility or a perception outfit to just an endurance outfit because the Nuka-Cola bottling plant uses the E uh, outfits versus uh, A or P. So that being said that you can start to say, okay, I want to craft the le you know legendary uh, version of the uh, Wasteland outfit, like the, the 7 E, or E plus 7 or whatever it is. Um, I think it's like one of those Wasteland outfits where you're like, like a gas mask or something. And that will be, um, you know, you can just have seven of those. Now, what I have done previously on other vaults is once I get to the point where I've got a full vault and I've got more people coming in and I've got level 50 people, I tend to either, like I said, populate the top row of the residential area with six or six guys or six female um dwellers and then the other room either four of male or four or female to have that gauntlet for anything to, that comes running in to hit that wall before it goes down to the next level as it is right now i've got three death claws hit, hitting the the vault at any given time and while i've got two guys in the front room taking care of stuff and a mr handy wandering about they are still able to get through the top level even though i keep sliding everybody over one room and when they switch uh they're still able to get 
down to the end of the row and come back and drop down to the first uh, level on the, or I'm sorry, the first room on the second level, which is a, I think a hospital or something like that where the med, uh, the uh, stim packs are being made. So I'm not, I haven't got it tweaked just enough. And, and uh, my guys in the front room got uh, a, I think a fat man and they've got a fat man in vengeance right now. So I don't know why, <laughs> you know, I don't know how else to, to give them better weaponry at this point until I get another vengeance. But still, the, the fat man tends to do a lot of damage too. It just takes a longer to fire. So once I have this situation where I've got, an, you know, I'm running out of places to put people, my level 50 folks, I'm going to be putting them into the 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 good, the best outfits I can get them for agility, because we're we're still going down that path of saying they want to wear an an A plus seven outfit, and we're going to put six male or female dwellers on the top residential in the middle, and then four female or male residential or um, dwellers in the residential on the end that's only a two block long and that should effectively cause us to never have to worry about that second layer uh, coming to our defense <laughs> so that's that's that, that's also part of those goals we've wrapped up uh, over the next few weeks and like I said we're, we're pretty much there uh, once I get to 100 dwellers there's nothing else to unlock all of the all of the rooms are now capable of, of creating whatever I need to be creating. It's just the it's just the, 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 the slow slog to the end of getting us two hundred dwellers. And again, I haven't heard anything yet from anybody. Um, this this whole idea of the what if series of saying, you know, what happens if we take a dweller and leave them alone in the vault and then have Death Claws come in and kill them? And you know, do we does it end the game? What you know, what happens? Do people start to show up again? That kind of thing. So please, I'm I'm still out there. I'm still I'm still asking if you guys want to do that. Let's do it. Let's 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 kick that off and, and let me know. Um, might want to you know. I'll release maybe one for free and then we'll, we'll talk you know about that. Maybe the rest are like Patreon or or buy me a coffee things. Uh, you know, based off of a uh, uh, interest. Say okay, let's you know I need to get f five coffees. That's like twenty five dollars. You know, anything like that. Hmm? You let me know that. You you let me know on, on if we want to do that or not. Um, I I would love to see it happen. I just for me to find the time to do it, I need to see the interest because it's just one of those things. Uh, <laughs> I'd love, like I said, I love I love to do it. I, these are questions I've always asked, and then, you know what? I don't want to go out and search for it. I want to do it myself and have fun with it. Um, that like I said, that also caused me to have, probably have to do the time glitch. Uh, well, these folks here, I'm telling you what, we got a lot of people having to come back in. And I am really not going to waste the time with uh, spending, uh, waiting for them to come in. I think I'm going to just, you know, bring them in and, and spend the money on it. Why not? <laughs> All right. We are back in it now. All of our peeps, I, like I said, I brought them in from the wasteland. I didn't, I had 50 some, uh, I had 52 <laughs> Nuka Cola quantums, and I burned 16 of them to bring everybody back in. But as you can see, here's our new guy. I accidentally hit the thing. Those folks have got a lot to do. This one coming back in from the vault, uh, 42, level 42, only has three items, but it took him, he was gone for a long time. Long time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it seems like it took forever for some of these folks to come back in. Oh, wait, here's the one. Here's the one. It's Anne Boyd. She, she, yeah, I found her dead and <laughs> I revived her. And then it took her a hell of a long time to come back in. Um, but she, she actually has what she needs to do. She got up to level 50. These guys, uh, they weren't. And that's why I, I switched over and, and fixed the time glitch and then brought them back in so we could start over again. But, of course, it took them nine days to get back because I set it back a week and they were already two days out. So, all right, let's uh, let's get rid of his stuff so he can come in. I'm gonna sell that. Let you come in. We don't need that stuff. Ba -ba 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 Boom. Yeah. Okay. Sell our common items. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to hold off on you for a second. Hold off on you for a second. Uh, let's see here. Keep out of that. We got we got a lots to bring in. We got a lot of stuff, and I will I will clean them up. And I will take care of them and set them back out. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, we've got 999,999 caps. We've got one dweller waiting after it. we got 86 people. Let's unlock. Like I said, we have the water purification room to unlock. 
we can build those over top of our water rooms and make those awesome possum but we need 100 100 dwellers to open up the nuka cola bottler we cannot uh, we need 90 dollars to do the factory and the theme workshop i think 105 it decreases just the crafting time don't really care about that at this point i don't really care about that i'm not really worried about it we'll do it just for completionist sake and then we will have everybody there now the other thing i want to talk about is i've got this little kitty right here not you your cat there's five times stranger chance not often does it actually work. I've only seen it one time. And again, we don't really care about the Mysterious Stranger that much for the simple fact that we've got 999,000 caps we can't get anymore. But what we do have is two lunch boxes. Let's go ahead and open those, and then we'll call it a day. So here we go. Oh my gosh, right off the bat, we got a gold watch, and a stem pack, and a pistol, and caps, and caps. Which will put us up over a million because of the way the game works. And more caps. And food, and another legendary item, a duct tape, military duct tape, a hardened sniper rifle, which probably end up breaking down for parts, and Leakin's Repeater. We might already have that. I don't know. Do we? Do we have Leakin's Repeater? We had Leakin's Repeater there. Oh, we got Red Rocket and Fire. Okay, we'll give somebody that just down, you know, somewhere they're not going to get too hurt. Uh, we got to sell some stuff because we're four over the four over right now. But we will do all that offline because I gotta get out of here. I gotta go pick Megan up from her appointment. And uh what do we got in our ways here? We got we got everything here. Okay, so we're gonna like bring those people back in offline, do all that. We've got a million caps. And you can see here we've got six folks. Here's West England. Or no, it's Juan Payne. West England this should be oh, he's down here, isn't he? No, Austin Moore. Where is West England? I know he's here somewhere. I know I brought him. Oh, he's over here, huh? There you are. West England. Yeah. <laughs> How funny is that? West Craven, Robert England, Nightmare on Elm Street, which is weird because he's wearing a hockey mask, so it would be Jason. Should see something like Kane Hoder or something like that. Who knows? Don't know why they did that, but oh well. Not going to worry about it. So that's it for tonight. We'll talk to you next time. Have a good one, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care of the planet. We'll see you next time. Talk to you later. 